This morning I went to a yard sale and I picked up this old radio for only a dollar. Not too bad. I hope to be showing it in a future video where I open it up and clean it up and just kind of go over it and make it look really nice. But for the time being, I want to show you some inter interesting sounds that I found coming from my monitor. My old, uh, let's see, ViewSonic Graphics Series GS710, uh, 790. As of course, this is a CRT screen, which CRT screens use a lot of high voltage, which a lot of high voltage means a lot of radio interference. So let's hear it. That's not the, okay, yeah, that's not for the monitor. That's from the monitor. There we go. That's always pretty fun. The most fun you can have, though, is with a Game Boy. You hold an original Game Boy up against a, ra a radio, and you get some pretty cool sounds. Oh, the original DS works, too. As long as you get close enough. Looks like we can get some interference from the 3DS also, of course, when it's very close. But with this one, it, I think it has to do with something like the accessing of the memory chip. So it's probably the memory card that is emitting the radio, some of the radio interference, not the actual processor, because the processor runs at, I think, 2.4 gigahertz. It's way past the frequency of this radio. Every time it loads a new area, it switches. So yeah, the funnest part about radios is not listening to songs or radio shows. It's seeing what's going on inside of an electronic device. Because it can be kind of like a radio stethoscope or something like that in many ways. Especially if you have, if you have a really nice, old, classy radio like this. Especially with a handle like that. That's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, and thanks for watching. See ya!